Kalen Tui, which probably is the most obvious double we saw coming because there was not any drama in either of these races. It was, in a way, like kind of boring because of how good Kalen was better than the rest of the field. Like there was never a moment when you're like, ooh, mm-hmm. watch out, Olomoy, like, oh, watch out, maybe Taylor Rowe's going to sneak up. It's like, no. Like, yeah. even when it came down to Taylor Rowe and Kalen Tui in a 3K, it was just so different from a year ago. A year ago, Kaylin was first time being in contention to potentially win. She's sh- striving for every last meter. Here, it was more just like regular mm-hmm. day at the job. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm going to come here. I'm clearly better than everyone. I've run the collegiate record in the 3K. I can run a 424 mile. Mm-hmm. It was so dominating. I don't, especially with Parker Valby not being there. I feel like Kaylin Tui has kind of done everything at the NCAA level. There's nothing else for her to do now. 